What's up everybody? I'm Brian from i1 Tesla and I've got a fun video for you today. Another video where I am destroying, no, modifying, yeah, customizing, uh, making better the Model 3 again for you guys. This is not going to be for everyone again. A lot of you are not going to want to do this because this is this is some major surgery to a car. I might be the only one that will do this and I'm okay with that because I think it's actually useful, especially if you go skiing quite a bit or you go to the lumber yard with four people. So let me show you. All right, we climb into the back seat, and if you just pull the armrest down, and we see the fangs coming down from the headrest. You, if you move the headrest up, the fangs go away. Uh, tucked under around so we don't see any metal. This is glued up in there nice and, nice and firm with some fabric glue. You have a nice smooth transition, as you saw. Uh, this is from me sticking that 2x4 in to myself as I pulled it through. Let me show you from the trunk side. You just see a hole there. And you can see that goes all the way through to the center screen. From right here, you can fit a 10 foot 2x4 all the way up to the screen with about 6 to 8 inches of clearance before hitting that screen. So you have plenty of room to haul things in this car. Well, this is actually called a ski pass-through. So what if you go skiing? You take the skis, you fit them through the hole, and you go skiing. Plenty of room for your boots. You could probably stack up a, a few of them there. And you still have room for the four people to go skiing. So I think this is huge. I think this is a great addition. If you're not scared about possibly destroying your seat, ruining your warranty on this only. You're not gonna ruin the warranty on the whole car. You're, you're just gonna ruin the warranty on this particular seat itself. Uh, but once it works, I, I think you're going to be happy with it. So this was brought up to me by a viewer that was on the forums and everyone was talking about the ski pass through for the Model 3. Is it a possible? Is there a way to do that? And he said there was a lot of people doing or talking about it, but no one doing anything. So he said, hey, you like to break things or rip things apart. Why don't you try it? I took apart the seat to see if it was possible. And yes, it is possible. That's what we're going to do. I have to take out the seat and I'm going to show you how to do that. It's actually, it looks like it's only two bolts on each side. And then the surgery starts. It's gonna be fun. This is the, the side piece that covers up all those nasty, scary wires, all that orange. Anything orange you don't wanna to touch in this car. Just leave these alone. Uh, there's a lot of current going through there, especially right now, because my car is charging. If you look right here, uh, this is the, these are the two bolts holding this side of the bar that goes across for the seat into the other side. We're going to remove these two bolts, unclip this sensor. This is for the heated seats, I believe. Take apart the other side. Seat right here, and just rip it right off. Actually, I broke it. I probably pulled it a little too hard. Not a big deal, because there is other clips. There's not just this one clip here. And if you look at this side, we have the same two bolts. It is a 13 millimeter. Now to remove the seat, there's actually a little clip right in here that you just move to the side and it lifts up. Same thing on the other side. You just lift the seat up and not too far because you have some, gosh, this is going to be a terrible video. Because you have some connections in here that you got to re remove for the heated seats. That's hard to do with the camera. I had to put the camera down to actually do it, but it just unhooks. It's pretty easy to do when you have two hands. Same thing on this side. Then all the seats are out except for that side. We're gonna get that out now once we find out where the bracket is for the center seat belt. And what's really cool is you can see the top of the battery pack. There's Tesla stamped right on the battery pack. And probably some of you have seen this already in other videos, but this is always cool to see. But here's those clips I was, that release the seat. If you pull them this way, it releases the seat. And now the seat's free. That was the passenger side seat, back seat, and this is the bottom of the seat. And not much different. For the side pieces, they don't weigh much of anything. These are actually, these are really, really light, uh, maybe a pound. And with 
And was, with most of that together, it weighs about 17 pounds. Uh, there is just a plastic piece in the armrest, so that should put it right about 17 pounds. So quite a bit of weight saved. Uh, taking out the back seats of the Model 3. You know, it could vary with the white seats or not. Eric, if you're going to the track, you're taking your newly wrapped Performance Model 3 to the track, uh, take those back seats out, you'll save some weight. All right, here's the back seat. The way to get this apart is, there's actually a zipper on the bottom. It's dug into the side here, and then this just unzips. This side is clipped on with a plastic piece that flips around there, and then you see there's metal. This is the scariest part. I'm going to have to cut through this and remove this plastic piece up here to get to that. But to remove the plastic piece, this is like a, a puzzle. You have to pull the headrest out. And then this, these just twist out. You need some sort of pry tool, which I can't find my plastic pry tool. So I'm going to be like rich rebuilds and use a kitchen knife. Hopefully I don't cut myself. Oh, that one popped right out. Probably because I pulled this out before. That goes into a channel and once the headrest is in place, it, that's what holds this plastic piece in. I know what everyone's thinking right now. I'm destroying the seat. Uh, granted, I am. But I'm not fully destroying the seat because the latch for this and all the strength is put right here. This is where it latches on to the back. By me removing this, leaving a lot of this structural support, I'm just taking out this middle section that's really not doing that much. All right, the next thing I'm going to do here, see I've taped off, I've taped off where I'm going to be cutting. The seatbelt moves, so it's, that's easy enough to pull out of the way. Um, this bracket, I can remove this bracket, but it was easy enough to just fold that back uh, off of the headrest piece and I have full access to all this now. I'll be able to move around and cut really cleanly here and not damage any of this foam. I'm still going to put a blanket over this so I don't get a lot of uh, metal shavings over everything and also into this. Do. <laughs> now would you do that the opening at the bottom is a little over four and a half inches and once i wrap the the felt inside we'll probably be at four and a half inches which I think is gonna be plenty because skis are gonna normally go this way or two by fours. You can probably you can fit two two by fours this way or stack a bunch this way. So what I've got so far is I ran the plastic through the hole out the back and you can see right here, I've already cut that material on the back here and the, you see the plastic. I think I'm going to curl that underneath uh, the carpeting. Uh, so I'm going to pull the carpet back out and do that and attach it that way somehow down there. That will keep this, play, this securely locked in place. I have some canvas material that I'm going to lay inside here. So things are kind of covered up a little bit. I'm going to tidy this up a little bit, install it back in the car, and you're going to see the final product. Uh, I'm not going to film this area because this is something, most people aren't going to do this. Let's be honest, probably two or three of you might do this, or maybe five other people might hire someone to do this in a, in a shop somewhere. I'm going to pretty this up a little bit, show you how it works, show, how, show you how good a job I did. I really hope so. Whew. Wasn't that hard to put in, but I'm out of shape, so I hold a camera and type on a computer for a living now. So let me show you what's in place and how to use it and what it looks like. So from the trunk, you can see the cup holders from this side, and that's your opening. That's where the opening is for the skis to fit through. When you're looking inside the car, it looks like factory. A little dustier than factory. Well, maybe the factory outside where they're building all the performance ones. What you do is you pull this down, and now you can see right into the trunk. Again, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I took it upon myself to actually 
uh, jump on this project. Someone said on the Reddit forums and on the Tesla forums that people were talking about this and wondered if it was possible. And well, my style, I like to take things apart and see if I, it can be done. And it could have been done. It obviously was done. If you don't need it, you're not going to notice it. You're not going to see it there. But when you do need it, it's going to come in handy, especially if you have four people in the car and you're putting something in there. Because a lot of times you go somewhere and you need the back seats. Say maybe it's like a piece of plumbing pipe or something like that that you might need or one two by four. It's definitely going to fit now in my car and mine only right now. You saw it here first, world's first. Ski pass through, trunk pass through, whatever you want to call it, the Model 3. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you want me to do this for you, too bad. I'm not doing it for anybody else but me. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Share this video all over the place. And if you'd like to become a Patreon supporter, click my link at the end of the video or down below. You can help support the channel for crazy stuff like this. I've got a lot more coming. So stay with it, hit subscribe, and stay positive. I'll catch you on the next one.